Jalen Jenkins was a standout athlete with his whole life ahead of him. But sadly, he was murdered on Christmas break in 2021, hit by a bullet that was not intended for him. Now the man accused of pulling the trigger, Nyquan Priester, is standing trial in Sarasota County. Prosecutors are presenting three witnesses who were with him that night and say he fired the shots. But as Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan reports, the defense argues all three have something to gain in testifying against him. As Nyquan Priester entered the courtroom charged with murder, the family of Dylan Jenkins sat together listening to painful details of the night he was killed. That's when he said the words, I'm going to air this before putting his hand out the window of the car and shooting into a crowd of people. A crowd of young people gathered at Ackerman Park in Sarasota for a party. In December of 2021, 18-year-old Jenkins, a Riverview High School graduate and rising athlete, was home on break from Madonna University where he played football. One of those bullets, it struck the victim in this case, Dylan Jenkins, in the back, killing him. He wasn't a target, he was just there, just there hanging out with his friends that night. Sarasota County deputies say Priester fired multiple shots from the back seat of a car into the crowd. The state says Priester dumped the gun into Sarasota Bay hours later. A dive team would recover the gun months after the crime. Now three people who were in the car with Priester that night are testifying against him. Nyquan Priester has been thrown to the wolves. Priester's defense attorney says he wasn't the one who fired the gun and says those testifying are lying for a reason. So they can save their own skin. So they can protect themselves. Those taking the stand include Calvion Turner, who faced a charge of principal to second degree murder, but took a plea deal to testify truthfully against Priester. There's no question that a tragedy occurred, but what this case is about is who committed that crime. It'll ultimately be up to the jury to sort through the evidence and testimony to make a decision. In Sarasota County, Kimberly Cuisan, Fox 13 News.